Hey, good afternoon, everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can bypass reCAPTCHA v2 with Meta Bypass services and implementation of these services in any programming language. But first, we need to install an application, Postman. You probably already have it, but if you are not, you just need to go to postman.com slash downloads and download it for free. And then back to our panel, metabypass.tech and then log in to your panel. As you can see, there is a free balance here. We can use this free balance to test services and I'm, I'm just going to use this balance. So uh, first we need to click on API doc here, the last item. With this documentation, uh, documentation, actually, we can deploy all services, but there is an easier way. We can just download this collection here by this link. So I click on it. And... Oh, yeah. Now, in Postman, we need to click on Import here and drag this file and paste it here. Here we go. Now we have all Meta Bypass services we need. Uh, first, we need to get access. So this first service we need, uh, the first request we need to send is a get access token here. And in a body section, now we have to import our information so we need to back to our panel here and create the application now create an application with this information we need to copy this information and paste here so there is a client id don't change this game type My ID is 95, client secret is here. So I copy it here too. My username actually. And my password. Okay. Now, when I send this request, in the response, I get an access token. With this access token, I can call all other services on Meta Bypass. But to implement, uh, implement this, develop this service uh, on our programming language, actually, we need to click on code here. Sorry, guys, about my English. I know it's like, but yeah. Here we need to select, after we click on code, we need to select the language actually we are deploying our program. For example, if we are using PHP, we can use these items, but actually I only understand Python, so I click on Python request. And with this code, actually when I copy this uh, part of code and paste on a Python file, and when I run this uh, file, I can, when I compile this uh, file, I actually get this token. And now, and after that, I can use this token in my uh, uh, code, actually. But we are here to bypass recapture v2. So first, copy this file here and paste it and go to bypass recapture v2 and then headers and change this after this word change your access token here paste it here now click on body okay to bypass recapture v2 we need two parameters a side key and a url let's assume we wanna bypass a recaptcha generate for this website. 
so we need the url url is already here we just need to paste this part of the url and paste that here oh sorry it's a side key need to paste that here but side key for side key first we need to uh, in this uh, web page we need to right click here and select the last item inspect now in an elements tab we need to search so press ctrl f and after the text box showed uh, type recaptcha now we need to search for a site key yeah here it is data site key equal this value it's most of the time it's a value with this length and also most of the time it's a start with 6l but it is not always with this key actually it's just not the uh, data dash site key it's sometimes it's just a k k equal something but with this length um, uh, and this uh, pattern this uh, uh, variable actually have we can find this value so i'm just gonna copy this value and paste here the recapture generate for this website is version 2 so version 2 and then we need to send a request in the response of this request we get the uh, we get an id it is a very important id because with this id we can get the token we requested at the first place so we need to copy this value and paste that here get recapture result for uh, click on get recapture result and paste the id here and don't forget we need the access token to call all the services in metabyte has been in access token so copy this value go back to request select header authorization after this word paste this attribute okay i hope the result be ready and yeah here it is with this token actually we can uh, this token will be ready in a 30 seconds to one minute and with this token we can call all the services on that website but don't forget uh, this token will be expired in two to five minutes most of the time in only two minutes after that it's expired uh, and uh, we need to use this token before that so uh, this service this meta bypass service get capture result call that every five seconds or ten seconds to get the result as soon as it's ready and uh, use that token before it's expired and yeah that's it uh, also you can get a code of this request as you can see the token is already set here you can select the language you need and you only need to copy this part of code and paste to the file and just run your program and yeah that's it Thanks for watching and catch you later.